In this tutorial, I'm going to discuss chi-square for goodness of fit. And this is part of another video, which I did, and I do all the formulas in the other video. But in this one, I'm going to use Microsoft Excel. I'm going to look at the expected versus observed. And I'm going to make calculations using Microsoft Excel. And this is part of a playlist for chi-square. I'm going to look at the observed and expect it, and I'll type those in, and I'll calculate differences. I'll square those, and take that divided by the expected. And this gives me my chi-square value when I add all those up. I'll go slowly during my presentation when I get to the Excel part. Some very quick background, so you can put this in context. If I picked NHL hockey players at random, and let's say I picked 220, which I did, I would expect their birth month, their birth quarters, to be equally distributed. That means I'd expect to have 55 players born in each of these quarters, first quarter, second quarter, third quarter, and fourth quarter. So these are my actual expected values. The actual observe turns out this way. There's 64 in the first quarter, 67 in the second quarter, 45 in the third, and 44 in the fourth quarter. This is my observed. So what I'm doing in this example is I'm comparing actual birth quarter with expected birth quarter. Now I'm going to switch over to Microsoft Excel. Now across the top you see quarters of the year. Now I'm going to type in some values. I'm just going to click on the cell and type in the value, and then I'm going to hit the right arrow key. 64 born in the first quarter, 67 born in the second quarter, 45 born in the third quarter, and 44 born in the fourth quarter. What I expect, though, is 55 being born in each quarter. And again, I'm just typing these in. So I hit the equal sign on the keyboard, and I click on the 64 minus, I type in minus the 55 and hit enter, and it gives me 9. So as you move your cursor over there, you should see the plus sign, and if you click on that, left click probably, and drag to the left, it drags a formula across to all those other cells. Type the equal sign, and I click on that cell and I put a hat 2 which means I'm going to square it and I'm going to drag that across to all the other cells as well go I tap in equal again and I take 81 divided by 55 and hit enter and now I'm going to drag this across to all the other cells And I'm going to change the uh, number of decimals to 2. Equal sign and type the word sum in the left parentheses. And I click on 1.47 and I drag across and close parentheses. And there you go. So the chi-square value is 8.11. Again, in another video, I talk about whether how to accept or reject the results. And I would encourage you to watch all the videos in this playlist. And you can click on that right in the right-hand corner. You see a link to the playlist. Watch it if you haven't done so already. The whole playlist. Now I'm done.